Hi everybody. So my buddy Wally calls me up the other day and he says, hey, my mom's air conditioner, every time it comes on, it's dimming the lights in the house. So I said, well, that's interesting. Let's check it out and see if we can't fix it. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about hard start capacitors. <laughs> so welcome to the Renaissance Builder. So the difference when it comes to compressors is there's actually quite a lot of things that involve the compressors starting slowly. You have parasitic losses, you have the energy of compression, you have the inertial mass of the motor itself, which means it takes time to get everything spinning up to speed. And that time is when the inrush current becomes excessive. So anything that can happen to the motor, which in an air conditioning compressor, it is a motor, anything that can happen to a motor that makes it start slower than it's supposed to will cause it to draw locked rotor amperage, which is like six times more than normal amperage. And that's what pulls the lights down in the house because you're drawing so much energy just trying to start the compressor. So that brings us to the hard start capacitors. What we're actually doing with a hard start capacitor is using the energy storage capability of a capacitor to create a boost when the compressor actually turns on. There's a relay in the top of a hard start capacitor that recognizes when the motor is just turning on because of the high current draw. And as, so, as soon as the high, I can't talk, I swear to God. As soon as the high current draw lessens, then it turns the relay back off and allows the capacitor to store the energy for the next start cycle. So that's what we're doing with this. We're gonna install it, see how much of a difference it makes in the air conditioner, and we'll get back to you. Okay, so unfortunately, between recording this episode and editing this episode, I managed to lose some of the footage. So I apologize, but I can't give you actual measurements of how effective the hard start capacitor was, but it did work. The lights in the house did stop dimming every time the compressor came on, so it, it did work. So I thought I would take the time to reiterate what it is exactly that we're talking about. A hard start capacitor. A hard start capacitor is an item that includes two elements. One is a capacitor, obviously, and two is a potential relay. A potential relay is a current sensing relay, and its job is to bring into the circuit the capacitor when it's actually needed. It does this by sensing a potential difference across a resistance, so it knows when the motor is starting and drawing high current, and then it says, all right, capacitor, it's time for you to come in. The capacitor's job is to store energy. That simple, it's to store energy. Now, it does this by, in a nutshell, putting two pieces of metal very close together, two sheets of metal very close together without actually touching. This causes a electrical force to be induced across those two plates. So if I put positive on one side, this is a capacitor, if I put positive on one side, then I'll get negative on the other side. And when you take it out of the circuit, it stores that potential difference. It stores that energy. Kind of like this capacitor that I've had on the charger here this whole time. So it's not in the circuit, <laughs> and it certainly stored the energy. So something to keep in mind when it comes to hard start capacitors is they are only band-aids at best. They are not an actual solution to a problem you may be having with your air conditioning compressor. Kara, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so as band-aids, they work for the time being, certainly. If you have a compressor that's starting hard, then yes, they will get you through a tight spot. But there's already another issue. Either your compressor's going bad or you need to analyze the power that's feeding your compressor. Either way, if you really want a true solution to the problem, then you need to look for the cause of the problem, not just throw a Band-Aid on it. Because the other thing you need to keep in mind when it comes to hard start capacitors is that they actually add, because of all that current inrush, they actually add a significant amount of load and heat to the windings of the compressor. So if you find yourself wanting to install these on new compressors, then you really should be analyzing whether you should actually be doing that or not because they can shorten the life of the motor. So they're not a one size fits all type of thing. They're only a Band-Aid. So if you find yourself needing a hard start capacitor, then it might be worth looking into why you need that in the first place and fixing that problem. 
So that concludes our video today talking about hard start capacitors, what they do, how they work, and when you should use them. So thank you very much for watching thus far. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon because it helps out the channel a lot and you get notified on future videos because hopefully you learned something or at least found this entertaining and the future videos will be the same or better. <laughs> so thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.